بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن بائی دا گریس آف اللہ آل مائٹی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آ نیو لیسن اینڈ دیٹ از یونٹ فائیو ہیٹ اینڈ لائٹ سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لیٹس بگن آ ٹو ڈیز لیسن Dear students, before we start reading of this unit, light and heat, you should know some things about heat and light, that what is light and heat. So just listen to me carefully, then we will do reading of our unit 5, heat and light of page 33 and 34. So, first of all, I'm telling you, you have to listen to me carefully that light is a type of energy and it makes possible for us to see the world around us. We need light to see the things. Light comes from different sources. These sources are called Sources of light. Our main and natural source of light is the sun. Because sun gives us light. There are other sources of light also. That includes fire and light, bulb, tube light, candle and many more. In the same video students, heat is also a type of energy. It helps us in many ways. It is used to cook food and it also helps us to keep us warm in winter. And do you know dear students that the main source of heat is also the sun. So, sun is very much useful for us huh? to survive because sun gives us heat and light. Both of the things we can get from the sun. It is the main source of heat and light. Now dear students, kindly open your science books, page number 34, it's unit 5, heat and light. Today we are going to read page number 34, so read with me and put your fingers on the word I am reading. Let's start reading. Heat is very important for us. Heat is very important for us. Yes, as I told you that heat is very much important type of energy as it helps us to cook our food and it also provides us warmth in the winters and the main source of heat is the sun. So, read second sentence and that is, the sun gives us heat. It also gives us light. Yes, dear students, the main source of heat and light is the sun. Sun gives us heat and it gives us also light in the daytime to see different things around us. Now I am going to read fourth sentence and it is a bulb gives out light and heat. Yes, another source of light and heat is bulb. Bulb gives out light and heat. I hope you know that bulb gives us light but it is 
hot also to touch it is very hot if we touch it it provides us heat also so we can get heat and light both from the bulb it doesn't help us to cook the food or it doesn't provide us warmth in the winter but it is hot to touch fire also gives out light and heat another source of both the types of energy light and heat is fire and you know dear students that fire is the source of light and heat we can cook food on fire we can get warmth from fire so it gives us both the things now let's read next sentence and that is a candle gives out light and heat you know that it gives us light when electricity is switched off for some reason what happen if we have candle we can burn it out and we can get the light from the candle and you know that candle's flame is hot so it can also provide us heat for very tiny little work so it is in a kind of source of heat and light both so we will uh, read the next page that is page 35 in our next lesson so for today it's enough we have to read only one page i hope you will read this page these lines and try to understand if you have any difficulty in your work do tell me do ask me now dear students at the end of today's lesson we have to recap our today's lesson what we have read we have read that heat and light are the types of energy and these types of energy makes it possible for us to live in this world they help us in different tasks so we have also read that main source of heat and light is the sun and the another thing we have read today and we have learned today is that there are many other sources of heat and light except sun and other sources of heat and light are fire bulb candle and heater and many more okay dear students it's uh, that's it for today uh, allah hafiz and take care